Hello everyone and welcome to the next video. As the name of this lecture suggests, in this video we will learn shortcut methods on how to multiply any number with 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 or 19. So let's start with 11. Obviously, you do not need a shortcut method to multiply a single digit number by 11, right? I hope each one of you knows what 11 into 5 is. So let's take a two digit number. Let's say we need to multiply 52 with 11. So what we need to do is, is first write the first digit and the last digit. 5 is the first digit, right? And similarly, 2 is the last digit. So write down both of them. Now in the middle, write the sum of 5 and 2, that is 7. That's it. That's our answer. First write the first digit and the last digit and in between write the sum of the first digit and the last digit. So 52 into 11 is 572. Similarly, let's say we need to find 36 into 11. Then first write the first and last digits which are 3 and 6 respectively and in the middle we write the sum of 3 and 6 which is 9. So 36 into 11 is 396. Okay, but what if we get a carry when we add the two digits? For example, let's multiply 56 with 11. So obviously in the first step, we write both 5 and 6. Now the middle term is the sum of 5 and 6. But sum of 5 and 6 is 11, which is a two digit number. But we always write only a single digit number. So what we are going to do is, we are going to keep 1 and carry 1 to the next left digit. That is, write 1 in the middle and carry 1 to 5. So that 5 becomes 6. Therefore, 56 into 11 becomes 616. Let's do one more example. Let's multiply 96 with 11. In the first step, write 9 and 6. The middle term is the sum of 9 and 6, which is 15. However, 15 is again a two digit number. So we write 5 and we carry 1 to the next left digit, which was 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. So we write down 10. Therefore, 96 into 11 becomes 1056. The exact same process can be extended to a three digit, four digit or other larger numbers. Let's take a three digit number. Let's multiply 957 with 11. The first step remains the same. We write the extreme terms which are 9 and 7. Now we will start adding from the right. First we add 5 with 7 which gives us 12. 12 is again a two digit number so we keep 2 and we carry over 1. Now the next digit is 9. So we add 9 with 5 which gives us 14 and when we add the carry we get 15. So we write 5 and carry over 1. Carrying over 1 means 9 becomes 10. So 957 into 11 is 10527. Let's take another example. Uh, let's multiply a bigger number. Let's say 4984638 with 11. So the first step is the same we write the extreme terms which are 4 and 8. Now starting from the left, first add 3 with 8 to get 11. Write down 1 and carry 1 to the left. Then we add 6 with 3 which gives us 9. Adding the carry makes it 10. So we write 0, carry over 1. Now add 4 with 6 which gives us 10 again. Add the carry to get 11. So write 1 and carry 1 again. Now adding 8 with 4 gives us 12. Adding the carry makes it 13. So we write 3, we carry 1 again. Then add 9, 8 and carry to get 18. We write 8, carry 1 again. Then add 4, 9 and the carry 1 to get 14. Write 4 and carry 1 again. Finally, add the carry to 4 which makes it 5. So 4, 9, 8, 4, 6, 3, 8 into 11 is equal to 54831018. So what are the steps that we have done in multiplying a number with 11? 
Well, the first step is write down the extreme terms. Then starting from the second rightmost digit, we add two digits at a time. And if there is a carry, carry it over to the left side. And we do this process till the leftmost term. So I hope the process of multiplying with 11 is now clear. Now let me modify this method a bit. I find this method to be very easy and very quick. But let me modify this a bit. Why am I modifying it? Well, because the modified method will help us understand the shortcut method for multiplication with numbers from 12 to 19. So let's take an example which we have already done. That is 957 into 11. In this method, the only difference that we are going to do is we are going to write 0 to the left of 957. So it becomes 0957. Now, starting from the rightmost digit, take a number, add it to the number on its right and write the result. If there is a carry, we take it to the left as we have already been doing. So in our example, the rightmost digit is 7. So we start with it. As there is no other digit to the right of 7, we write 7 as it is. Now this is similar to our previous method, right? Now take the second digit from the right, which is 5. Add it to the digit which is on the right side of it, that is 7. 5 plus 7 gives us 12. So we write 2 and we carry 1. Now take the next digit, which is 9, add it to 5, add carry to get 15. So we write 5, carry 1. And finally, the last digit is 0. So we add it to 9 and add carry, which we had, to get 10. So our answer is 10527. So as you can see, we are effectively doing the same thing, right? We are effectively doing the same thing which we did in our first method, but the process looks just a bit different. Now, the exact same process can be used to multiply with numbers 12, 13, 14, etc. till 19. So let's say we need to multiply 957 with 12. So in the first step, write a 0 to the left of the leftmost digit, that is, Make 957 as 0957. Then, starting from the right, first multiply the digit with 2. Then add it to the digit to its right. And do the process again, moving leftwards. What I am trying to say is, the rightmost digit is 7. So let's start with 7. Let's double 7, multiply 7 with 2, which gives us 14. As there is no digit to the right of 7, we do not need to find the sum. So we write 4 and we carry 1. Now let's move leftwards. The next digit is 5. So you multiply 5 with 2 which makes it 10. Then add it to the digit on its right that is 7. So 10 plus 7 becomes 17. The carry was 1 so it becomes 18. Now write 8 and carry 1 again. The next digit is 9. So multiply 9 with 2 which makes it 18. Add it to the digit on its right, which is 5. So 18 plus 5 gives us 23. Add the carry to make it 24. Write 4 and carry 2 again. Now the last step is, we have the last number as 0. So take 0. Multiply it with 2, which gives us 0 again. Add it to the digit on its right, that is 9. So we get 9. And add the carry 2, which makes it 11. So 957 into 12 is 11484. So as you can see, multiplying with 12 is almost same as multiplying with 11. The only difference is, first we are multiplying the digit with 2 and then adding it to the digit on its right. In 11, we were simply adding the digit to its right. But in 12, first we multiply the digit with 2 and then add it to the digit on its right. Similarly, for 13, we will multiply the digit with 3 and then add it to the digit at its right. For 14, we will multiply the digit with 4. For 15, 
we are going to multiply with 5. For 16, we are going to multiply with 6. For 17, we are going to multiply with 7. For 18, we are going to multiply with 11. And for 19, we are going to multiply with 9. So this method can be used to multiply any number with 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 or 19. Shall we do one last example on this? Uh, let's say we need to find out 957 into 19. So let's do this question. So in the first step, we write 957 as 0957. Now let's start from the rightmost digit. The rightmost digit is 7. We multiply it with 9, which gives us 63. So let's write 3 and carry 6. Let's now move leftwards. The next digit is 5. So we multiply 5 with 9, which gives us 45. Then add the digit to its right, which is 7. That makes it 52. Then add the carry, which makes it 58. So again, write 8 and carry 5. Now let's move to the next digit, which is, which is 9. 9 into 9 gives us 81. Add it to the digit on its right, that is add it to 5. 81 plus 5 is 86. Then add the carry 5, which makes it 91. So write 1 and carry 9. Now the next digit is 0. So multiply 0 with 9, which is obviously 0. Then add it to 9, which makes it 9. Add the carry 9, which makes it 18. So the answer is 18183. So notice how easy this calculation has become. We have to multiply very simple single digit numbers and this method is very fast. So it can be used to multiply any number of any number of digits with numbers from 11 to 19. This brings us to the end of yet another video in the faster calculation series. In the next video, we will learn a very important faster calculation method that is multiplying numbers which are near bases. See you then.